guys, welcome to Martin Made. My name's Stephanie and today I'm planting my gardens. So I have a lot of perennials in my garden. Normally they, they do a great job coming up. Um, every year, but um, I have a couple of annuals that I'm going to plant in my container um, planter, I guess. Um, I have a planter in the front and a planter in the back that's kind of near my front door. I'm not the best <laughs> with actually planting it and watering it. Um, the ones in the back normally get watered, but the ones in the front, not as much. And the reason for that is normally because my husband and I didn't have a hose that worked well to get all the way up to where the planter was. But we actually bought a hose this year that is a hundred foot hose and it can go all the way from inside the garage all the way around the garage and to the front. So this will be a lot easier having a hose that actually does stretch all the way and I can water all of the flowers without having to go get buckets and running in the house and out of the house who knows how many times just to get that. So I am going to get my flower gardens all done today and that is what I wanted you to come along and see. So first thing we did was we got my planters um, all cleaned off and got them ready to go and ready for the season. And then I went ahead and got some soil put into them and we topped both of them up with soil and got them ready for planting the flowers. Now Silas is so eager to help plant anything, so he wanted to help me plant and water this day, so we went ahead and planted our flowers in the bucket and he got to put water in each of the little spots. So once everything was done, I went ahead and cleaned off my hands and went ahead and just kind of sprayed a little bit of water over both of the planters and we put the one for the front in the front. And then I went ahead and started just watering down all of the gardens in the front because I had a ton of um, tulips that were done blooming and we were going to go ahead and pull up the bulbs from that so we can plant those in the fall. So I went ahead and watered the entire garden area. Now once the flowers were all watered down, I went ahead and started pulling up all the bulbs and just throwing them in a bucket. We just kind of pull up, dig them all up while the leaves are still on and then go through and cut off the leaves and then in the fall we'll replant the bulbs. Okay, so I'm on day two of 
planting the gardens because it just took forever to get the front gardens done. So I'm here with the ladies and my garden. It's a total mess right now. I've got to get it cleaned. So. And you've got to get those spiky plants. Yeah, I gotta get the spiky plants out. Yay for me. So, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on that. So the first thing we had to do was get up those spiky plants. Those things were massive and huge and I could barely touch it as it was, so we were just trying to get that up for a huge portion of the time actually. Now once we got most of that up, I went ahead and started watering just all of the plants and garden areas. It makes it a little easier to plant stuff I find. It might be muddy, but it also kind of helps soften the ground and just make it a lot better for um, things to grow. First thing we planted in our garden was our watermelon. We aren't expecting it to do anything amazing. We did have some spaghetti squash that we did last year and it did great, but we had that planted well before now. But we could not find any spaghetti squash to plant, so we went ahead and just stuck with watermelon. Now this garden is our tomato garden. We fill the entire thing with tomatoes and we grow tons of tomatoes and use it for so many things. Okay, so this is our bed that we kind of experiment with stuff. We planted watermelon seeds. Um, now, really honestly don't think it's gonna go. We were gonna do spaghetti squash and had it all in a container that we planted a while back and it was going good and then just kind of died off. So we went ahead and were looking for some spaghetti squash that were plants like that, but ended up just getting some watermelon seeds, put them in the ground and we're just gonna let it grow. We're gonna... This is our um, tomatoes. We have some Buffalo Sun tomatoes. We have the Chef's Choice Orange. We have tomato Brandywine Red and tomato Pink Girls. And so that's our tomato. We always do tons of stuff with tomatoes, so we use them all the time. And then this is our strawberry patch. It used to extend to here, really full and lush, and then weeds got into it. This is our asparagus bed. We use asparagus as much as we can get it uh, throughout the season. And so that is where we grow asparagus. Also in our backyard, we have cherry trees, two cherry trees. We have those, um, we got them last year. We got one cherry off of that tree, but the birds picked it off. And then up here, I have these two little, um, I've got an oregano and I've got a basil, and those are gonna go in some little, um, they're just gonna go in some little uh, boxes at the window of their little, new little playhouse. And then I planted a few flowers in here that this needs to be watered a little bit more. But. Okay, so for the front of the house, I have some more of those same plants that are in the back in my little container here. And then if we go down the stairs, um, 
you automatically see our apple tree. We get lots of apples on this thing and it's been beautiful this year. So got my beds all cleaned up there. And then the front of our house, we have, I have this plant. This is a black eyed Susan. This is my lavender. It's starting to bloom. It, I have to cut it down like last year. I cut it down three times. Um, and every time it grows back and it's really nice. So um, I have my grass and then I have some flowers. Actually this flower and this flower were all connected. Um, and I just kind of split it in half and put some here and some here and they were about the same size. This one just really took off last year and this one's starting to take off this year. But then I noticed over here, there's some more right there. So I have that and then I have this plant here. Honestly, I can't tell you the names of half of the plants that I have in here. There's some more grass and then some more, some of that. Um, and then, I have this little thing. Hopefully we'll get buds on it. It is my hydrangea. Then I have my peonies. They are so tall and gorgeous. I need to get a ring, but I didn't end up getting a ring. But usually I cut off my peonies because I like to have them inside the house because I love the look of them. And so that is my flower garden in the front. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. For those of you who are new to the channel, you can hit that subscribe button down below. There's also a bell to one side that you can get notifications from YouTube every time I upload a new video. Um, and then there's the comment section. You can comment down below. I would love to hear from you. Anyway, I will talk to you soon in the next video and I will see you then. Bye.